You might notice more bars and breweries are reopening, even though Governor Greg Abbott hasn't given them the go-ahead just yet. KVU's Derenisha Heron is live in Round Rock to tell us how some are reinventing themselves to get back in business again. Derenisha? Quita, TABC actually made a way for some of these bars and breweries to reopen. And in many cases, it'll be your favorite restaurant and your favorite bar collaborating to make this happen. And that's exactly what they did here in Round Rock at the Brass Tap. It's been like a, a back and forth game for everyone. But at Brass Tap in Round Rock, they figured it out. We're a restaurant now, you know, we still have the amazing 60 beers on draft, six down in the beer garden over 180 in bottles, cans and bombers. Sherilyn May Perry is a general manager. The only way she could reopen the bar under the governor's orders was by getting a food and beverage certification from TABC and selling more food than alcohol. She stayed with no fries. To make that happen, Brad's Tab partnered with Wise Guys Chicago Eatery to make sure they can sell enough food. It was organic. It was, it was made to happen this way. And their regulars agree. And we're like, this is perfect. Perfect lunch because we can get the sandwich that we want and have a nice drink and a great atmosphere. But Bill Nache, the president of Wise Guys, said getting a food truck and figuring out the logistics wasn't easy or cheap. By the time we get done with everything, we're looking at over close to $40,000. Is it worth it? Totally worth it. Wouldn't change a thing. Collaborations like this are happening all over our area to help bars reopen before it's too late. Just recently, Zucker Brewing Company reopened partnering with Spicy Boys Fried Chicken. This absolutely is the new norm. For all of us to get through this together, we need to be together. And the best part about all of this is that both businesses were able to bring their staff back to business and bring them here so that they can work and make some money. And according to TABC, they have issued over 500 of those food and beverage certificates so that businesses around the state can reopen. Reporting live in Round Rock, I'm Darren Heron, KVU News.